With this package you will be able to render different stereoscopic images, which are composed by two images which appear in the left and the right eye. Our eyeballs are usually facing forward and there is a distance between them that is called the interocular distance. But whenever we are focusing on an object, those lines cross. This will be the position of the image. With our package, this is possible to do. First of all, open our application, select picture from the left, and you will be able to take the first picture of the left eye. Then flip your mobile phone and take the second picture for the right eye. Then the code will automatically generate an image for you. This image can be opened in the gallery scene and you can see it directly with your VR glasses. Introduce the mobile phone into your headset and put on your headset and you will be able to move around the different images of your gallery. We have images that are presets and then you will find the images you have taken in your real world. We have also prepared a non-interactive menu for you and if you want to search the pictures on your phone you have to go to the files inside the application and you will be able to open the images you have taken. As you notice, the image is composed by two parts. This package needs the GVR SDK for Unity version 2019 and you can download it from GitHub GVR Unity SDK releases. The link will be in the description of the asset. If you open it in Unity, you will have the Google VR folder that contains all the scenes and scripts you need to make the package work. Once you have imported the Google VR, you have to import our package from the asset store by looking for stereo cam and gallery. This package has a unique scene which can be found in the folder scenes stereo cam. If you open this scene, you will find that there are different parts, different sub scenes here. The main one contains the two buttons that are used to go to the photo scene and to the gallery scene. Each of them contain different features that we are going to see in just a minute. For the photo scene, if we hit play, you will see how it works. First of all, it takes you to a render which we can see the camera feedback. This is generated and controlled by the image get in which we are setting the width, the height and we are referencing to different textures in which the left and the right eye are going to be stored. So in fact if we want to take a stereoscopic image of this clock, of this watch working, we have to click first of all to the left then rotate our camera and click the right eye. This will generate thanks to the save image script an image that is composed by two textures as you can see here the one on the left and the one on the right they are completely different. Those two textures are going to be merged using the merge texture script and whenever we go to the gallery they will appear at the end. So in the gallery scene what, do we ha what we have here is a load gallery script which is going to load the different pictures on our folder. The folder is going to be the one that is used in the main scene and you can see it in menu actions path here. So if you hit Control C and you copy that address you can go to your folders and inside the folders you can see the different images that come by default and the one we have taken that will be this one here. Let's see if it works. Notice that it won't be completely rotated. 
because of the fact that um, whenever we take a picture from a camera it rotates it automatically so in this case we have rotated the image from the webcam that is not working properly but it will work on other devices so once we have explained how to find our folder and which are the images that are prefabs and which are the ones that are obtained by the camera you can go to the gallery scene and you will check that we have two VR image planes so this is the basic stuff you need to know to make your package work properly we have a panel that is for the right eye that you can see here that is set to the layer right and one to the left eye that is set to the layer left if you go to the player and the different cameras that are inside of it you will see that you have two cameras which have different uh, each of them have different cooling masks so the left one is going to show the left information and the right one is going to show the right information as you can notice whenever I click on them you can see a small movement of the camera that is uh, because of the stereoscopic effect so this is how we achieve the stereoscopic images uh, inside Unity. If you go to the menu on the left, you can go ahead and check out the different images we have built. We have also prepared different icons that you can use in order to display different features on your image, but they are not interactable at the moment. The only one that works is the return button that will take you to the main scene. Notice on the top of the scene, we have the address in which the images will be stored so check this out into your application in order to see where the images are stored in your Android device thanks for watching this tutorial I hope you like it I hope you consider downloading it please subscribe to our channel and keep up with the good work developing your VR applications